thumbs up to another great Photoshop tutorial and today we're going to be having a look at putting a flag texture onto a hand and it's really quite easy just a few steps involved so first of all we're going to just get the, the hand make sure that we've got no background there on the hand just the, the hand itself and then we're going to paste it onto our image and whoop, we're going to just enlarge it a bit and drop it over a section of the image that we we want to have wrapped around uh, wrapped around our hand. So let's take let's take this section here. That way we get some of the the blue of the, the s uh, stars and some of the stripes. Now you're going to just apply that. And the next thing you're going to do is uh, hide the the flag layer. So we've just got our hand, and then if you come up to image and adjustments, and then desaturate, and then image adjustments and levels. Now you're going to just adjust the black and the white level because we really need to make a, a contrast in the hand, and this will make sense. Uh, in a minute for our, one of our filters because we really need a, a, a contrast so as you can see we've got a nice contrast with the white here and the black and the dark sections here we've got very very little grey mostly just the dark section so that's that's looking good we're going to take that so I'm gonna ok that uh, and yep now what you want to do is come up to filter and come up to blur and then apply a, a Gaussian blur and this is to just sort of soften the, the image and really make it make it a bit obvious if again where the, the sections of light and dark are so there we go I'm gonna hover it around 3.5 but yours might be different so there we go I'm just gonna OK that and then we're gonna come up to file and save as and I'm gonna save this as hand PSD and just OK that. Uh, and now all you need to do is just take take a few steps backward. Oh, that's too far too far backward. There we go. Come back to our original uh, picture here. And then all you need to do now is just duplicate the flag layer and move that to the top and then if you hide the bottom flag we don't need that now uh, but we need to come as well hide the top layer and come down to our hand and if we select the, the magic wand tool and we can just select uh, click sort of out outside the, the hand and uh, probably the best way is to just click the control uh, hold down control and click the, the thumbnail there and that will select all the, the hand area uh, all of our objects so that's the that's the best way uh, to do it and then you're going to come back up to the top layer and as you can see we've got our outline here and we're going to click there and just add a, a layer mask and there we go this puts the, the top layer through onto our hand layer but it doesn't look very uh, doesn't look very blended there, so we're going to come up to uh, come up to our blend tools here, and just have a look and see which ones sort of seem to seem to work best. The one that I find works the best is usually the multiply. So yeah, there we go. It's almost a nice Captain America look to it. So yeah, that's uh, that's the kind of glove and outline that we want. So all you're going to do now is just uh, come up to the color balance. Let's see, and oh, not color balance. We don't want color balance. We want uh, brightness and contrast. There we go. Oh, in fact, let's cancel. Let's just take a step backward there. Remove that color balance because that's still showing in the layers. And just come back up to the brightness and contrast. And just uh, going to just lift the the brightness up, and there we go. We get a nice uh, nice effect there, and that lightens everything up. And yep, we can then 
can just crop that. Let's crop that there like that. And there we go. We've got a nice hand effect. Hope you like that.